is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below hi gemini welcome to another love reading of yours <clears throat> this is for my gemini's in love it is a general reading guys this may or may not resonate with every gemini watching this video some of the energies of the cards are going to be flipped, so feel free to switch those energies, vice versa. Um, time is fluid, as you know, you could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. And if this reading resonates with you and you do need a person reading, all that information is going to be down below. All right, Gemini's. We have here as your overall energy as the Four of Swords here. <clears throat> so I feel that there is a time out between you guys, okay? You guys are on a break right now and I think this is a new communication, okay? The, I think you guys are not talking right now. You both are in your own corners and I think um, no one's talking and no one's saying anything. But again, this is a very meditative energy, alright? So I feel that you're both wanting to contemplate and thinking about something. About the, uh, about the situation, but you're definitely in a separation breakup or there's just no communication between you guys. In the past year with the judgment in reverse here, I feel that there was someone here who misjudged a situation or misjudged a person, okay? But there was definitely no chances of a second opportunity or no chances of um, someone wanting a reconciliation, okay? Something, uh, someone probably did not listen to, uh, did, did, they had like a lot of signs from the universe to let something happen to make a final decision, but someone chose to be indecisive. With the temperance here, I feel that you're losing patience or this is the, the situation where someone's just losing patience, okay, because there's this break, there's no communication and there's either both of you all, you all just don't know what's happening or you're both just um, going back to crazy right now, okay, but this is someone who's not being able to exercise self-control. This is someone who's not being able to accept the fact that what is in their control and what is not in their control. What you need to understand is that... Um, you need to understand the things that are in your control and you need to take responsibilities for them and what is not in your control and you need to accept it, okay, and let it go. You know what you have to, what you can control and what you can't. Right now in the situation, there's someone here who's just stressing over a situation. It's like, I don't know what I want, but I want it now, okay. So there's somebody who's just going back to crazy, losing complete control and there's an imbalance in the situation, okay. There's someone here who could be um, absolutely... Uh, uh, indulging into alcohol right now okay this could be someone who's not trying to numb their pain or someone who's trying to numb the situation or numb their feelings okay but yeah this is again a lack of reconciliation because there's someone who's just not wanting to be patient right now okay yeah um on this person's mind that you're dealing with with a high priestess in reverse here you could be dealing with someone who's having a very hard time trusting their intuition Someone's having a hard time trusting their intuition and they're trusting their logic. Or this is someone here who's just listening to too many people's opinions. This could also be someone who's just wanting to completely um, put themselves and bury themselves into work and be very, very daisy, uh, very, very busy in their daily life that they don't have time to trust their intuition or sit and relax and find out what their psychic guidance is giving them, okay, or what signs the universe is giving them. Someone's absolutely lost in touch with their intuition, okay. How this person views you, Gemini, they view you as moving on, okay. They view you as moving away or creating a mental distance between them and you. Uh, with the devil in reverse here, um, in this person's emotions, I feel this person feels that you have, uh, either they have released or they're ready to release a toxic situation or they feel that you are releasing or they feel you are, uh, or you feel they, I think this is they feeling that you have released yourself from a situation that you felt very, very stuck, tied and bound to or they, they see you as releasing yourself from a toxic situation. Maybe there was a lot of toxicity within the relationship, okay? And something was unhealthy, but they see you detaching from them is what I'd say, okay? With the Four of Cups in reverse here, the way they want to move forward with you is I think they're seeing you as the one who got away or they're just going to keep this as a missed opportunity because they no longer want to be in the stagnation mode. We'll clarify because clarifications can change the entire reading. But again, with the Four of Cups in reverse here, it can be someone who's wanting to come out of their isolation mode and wanting to give someone an offer or make an offer or be ready to get an offer. Or this is just someone who's wanting to, you know, keep something as a missed opportunity. 
we'll see. Because in the what's going on behind the scenes is the lovers here, okay? This is a strong, strong soulmate connection. Soulmate will play connection if you believe in all that. Someone has a lot of love for you, Gemini. And with the lovers here, it's mutual. You both love each other a lot, okay? Your advice for the Three of Cups in reverse is that you need to still restrain yourself, okay? Don't jump into a reconciliation. Something is still going to need some time before you guys get together get together on the same page we're gonna clarify that because of the outcome here i really like this we have the two of cups so i feel you guys are coming into a relationship you guys are coming into union after this period of a break okay we're gonna start clarifying clarify the three of cups clarify the four of swords why is this the overall energy for gemini See, five of swords in reverse. So I think there is someone who wants to return to you after a period of um, a lot of mind games. There could be someone who was very, very egoistic and someone who played a lot of mind games. You could have had serious communication issues with this person, okay? Every single time, probably you tried to speak to this person that, you know, something was wrong within the relationship, but this person could have completely shut you off. Or with the five of swords in reverse, you what I'm also feeling is that um, this person, uh, you could have walked away from this person, okay? Because you have, you could have tried your best to convince this person to, you know, like someone was just being very petty is what I'm getting, okay? You could have walked away from the situation. But I think after this time of period of break, okay, I feel that there's someone here who's done with the mind game, someone who's done with the mind puppy. They're letting go of their pride and ego and they're ready to move towards you, all right? After this period, after a lot of thinking about what's going on. What is the judgment in reverse? Try for the judgment in reverse. Try for the judgment in reverse. See, there were either too many people involved or there was just too much drama involved, okay, with the five of wands. Yeah, either there were too many people involved within your situation or too much drama or too much chaos that was bringing into the situation and someone probably just decided, you know what, either someone was scared to give something a second chance or this was just two people who were just not getting into the same page. Okay, maybe you wanted something else, and this person wanted something completely different, and that is what a lot of ego clashes, clashing personalities. But at the same time, a lot of bickering and being petty, and a lot of um, arguments, etc. You know, stuff like that. And that could be one of the reasons why someone does not want to give something a second chance, or why someone's indecisive in the past of wanting to give something a second opportunity. Why is the temperance in reverse? Nine of swords in reverse. So I feel that for the temperance in reverse and the nine of swords in reverse, right? I feel that there's someone here. Um, I think instead of things getting better, things are getting worse. There's someone here whose negative thoughts are completely spiraling, okay? And it's almost like the negative thoughts are getting into manifesting into reality. Give me one more card. Why is the nine of swords in reverse? What is the nine of swords in reverse? Four of wands in reverse. There is someone here, you know, who's uh, there is just a complete disharmony within the relationship. Either your relationship is not being able to reach that point of commitment, wanting if you want celebration, you want some kind of commitment, you want a happy home with this person, it's just not getting there. And if there are chances of it getting there, but the problem here is. You're losing patience. You're not being able to exercise self-control on yourself. You are not understanding that there are some things that are just not in your control. But you're wanting to control everything. This is someone who's being a control freak also, okay? And whatever you're thinking, it's getting over, okay? This is someone who's going completely nuts and crazy. And uh, now it's it's got like a negative spiral effect, okay? And now your manifestations, your manifestations are coming into reality. And with the four of wands in reverse here, you feel this is there's this person in your or situation which is completely uh, um, toppling down your energies up to down. Okay, it's this this energy which is completely going crazy. But the four of wands in reverse here, I also feel that there could be someone who is already involved in the commitment, and this person needs to get rid of that commitment or needs to get rid of that other person before they can come towards you. And this could also be one of the stresses or one of the reasons why the opposite person is also so stressed and going impatient. Like, are you ever going to leave that person and come towards me? Are you going to leave that other commitment and get rid of that marriage or commitment and come towards me? That could also be one of the reasons why this person is so stressed or losing patience. Why is the high priestess in reverse? The lovers. 
So there is a lot of love here on this person's mind. This person, look, we have the lovers in the behind the scenes. We have the lovers here also on this person's mind. Someone again <clears throat> is not trusting their intuition. But there could be someone here with the lovers here who needs to make a choice. Again, I'm getting someone who's married here. There could be someone who's married here. I think I'm dealing with someone or I am reading for the Gemini's who's married or dealing with someone who's married here. Because with the lovers here, I feel that this person needs to make a choice. And could be this also which is going on with the back of the scenes. Okay, someone needed to make a choice. And this person right now, they're trusting their logic. And uh, they're wanting to do things comfortable, which is within their comfort zone, okay? And with the high priestess from the cross, this person is not trusting their intuition. Maybe their intuition is asking you to choose, asking them to choose you, but they're not being able to make a choice. They still need to make a choice. Why is the Six of Swords here? They view you as moving on, moving forward with clarity, or you just want to move on with a peace of mind. What is the Six of Swords? But they could also see you as someone who's mentally distancing yourself from them. As the six of swords here, you could even be moving, this could be traveling, changing your home, destination, king of cups. There's a lot of love this person has for you, okay? But, um, or probably you know that this person loves you or this person knows that you love them very, very much. And they know that you want to move forward, forward with them, okay? But again, they feel that there is a forced departure. It's almost like, you know what? There is a certain change which is forced on this person, okay? And they just have to do it. It's a forced departure, if you understand what I'm saying. The universe is forcing them to move forward, forcing them to make changes which is outside their comfort zone, okay? Because this person could be fearing change and could be resisting a change for a very long time. Although this person loves you to the moon and back, but they're not the best at expressing their emotions, okay? But this person just wants to move forward with clarity. What is the devil in reverse? Back to the devil in reverse. Someone's ready to release a toxic situation or already is, already has. What is the devil in reverse? I'm getting detachment. And with the judgment in reverse here, I feel that in your deepest, in this person's deepest emotions, they don't want to repeat their past mistakes. Because they feel that they've taken, it's taken a lot in them, a lot of power in them to release this toxic situation. And I don't think they want to give this a second chance. They don't want to give something a second chance. And with the judgment here again, they're misjudging a situation or they're misjudging the person, but they're not listening to the higher calling. Okay, they're not listening to the higher calling again because this person's intuition is very, very blocked. You could be dealing with someone who's very intuitive, but right now they're just not being able to think right. This is again someone you know who's completely trying to um they're not being honest about making the right decision. That's what I'm getting. They're not being honest. They know what the right decision is, but they're trying to completely ignore it, okay? And right now, in their deepest emotions, they this is someone who feels like they've just got out of a toxic situation, okay? Now with the judgment in reverse, if they don't want to make a second, uh, they, they don't want to give something a second chance or they're just fearing of making the wrong decision. Like, oh, it was so toxic in the past, right? Do I want to make this a second? Do I want to give this a second opportunity? Do I want to give this a second chance, okay? Do I need to get this renewal? They're just very indecisive right now. It's a very difficult decision for this person to make, okay? But this could also be someone who's not realizing their own mistakes, okay? And wanting to find faults in the other person. What is the judgment in reverse? Ace of Swords. Because this person probably is either wanting clarity or this person has clarity about the situation. Maybe the truth is on their face. Maybe there's been some truth that has come to the surface and which is making them realize that, you know what, this was toxic and I don't think I want to repeat this again. Uh, what is a four of cups in reverse? What is a four of cups in reverse? Page of Wands. This person wants to come out of isolation and they want to start something new. This is again restarting, reigniting a connection or wanting to come in with fresh communication. What is a page of Wands? You know, this person could also be realizing that they better need to move forward with you, otherwise, they're going to move, they're going to stay there in that isolation. Uh, contemplating the, and focusing on what went wrong rather than focusing on what can happen or what can go right. They feel that they're missing opportunities with you. So probably they're wanting to come out of their isolation. Now they're wanting to talk to you. What is this page of wants? Page of wants is good news also, but it's a very exciting, passionate communication. Okay, It's very fresh communication. What is the page of wants? Maybe this person is wanting to make a brand new, whole new approach towards you. What is the page of wants? Or this person could be wanting something absolutely new. What is the page of wands? 
Treffer the patient's name. The devil in reverse here, but this person definitely wants to release anything toxic. Okay, so I think that this person wants to start something brand new. Okay, but at the same time, they don't want to entertain anything that is toxic. Okay, they don't want to feed into the temptation. It's like they're ready to let go of anything that is unhealthy and they're wanting to talk to you. Okay, they want to move forward, they want to come out of the isolation mode, but they're ready to let go of. Probably this person, whoever you're dealing with, was very toxic in the past. They could be very, very controlling, very egoistic. They would always want the upper hand or they would just be, uh, again, I'm getting a lot of controlling or I'm getting a lot of, this person could have had a lot of obsessions or a lot of uh, toxic habits or this could just be someone who was led by their ego or someone, you know, who had an unhealthy pattern towards them, okay? They were constantly, um, they constantly kept you in a loop, constantly kept you in an unhealthy habit, but now they want to release it. I think this person has a lot of realization about what they did wrong. I'm getting a realization, okay? This person was in that contemplation mode, what went wrong, and now they realize that, you know what? They're no longer wanting to wait. They want to come towards you. They want to talk. A lot of passion, a lot of chemistry between you guys. But again, they don't want to continue or um, want anything toxic anymore. What is a lover's one? Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here behind the scenes? Why is the lovers here? Why are the lovers? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So someone again, see that's what I'm getting with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Here. Someone's not happy in a relationship. Someone's married here. I'm getting. Someone's already in a commitment here. Okay, and this person needs to make a choice and needs to end a long-term commitment. Needs to end a marriage, and that's what's going on behind the scenes. This person's making a choice. They are making a choice, but it's just going to take some time before they come in. It's going to take some time, but they're working towards it. They're working towards it. This person needs some time. Ten of Pentacles in the world. This is someone who needs to make a choice, and there's you, and then there's another person who they're already involved in again in something stable. Okay, could be having kids with. They could be having kids with this person. Okay, but yeah, they need to make a very significant life-changing decision. All right, this is a big decision. The lovers are choices, choices between two people. Okay, it can be like a complete life-changing decision with significant uh, repercussions, or you know, like. Um, um outcomes so yeah this person is going to take their time but yeah what's back in, what's going on behind the scenes is the ten of pentacles universe here. someone's definitely looking towards ending another connection before they come towards you what is the three of cups in reverse why is this advice why is the three of cups in reverse as advice why is the three of cups in reverse as advice why is the three of <laughs> With the three of cups in reverse as advice, clarified by the three of cups here. So I think your advice is that, you know what, if this reconciliation has to come in, right, see that this person doesn't friend zone you, is what I'm getting. Right now, take your time alone, okay, with the three of cups in reverse here. But when it's clarified by the three of cups, take your time alone, but take your time alone from this person. Take your time away from this person. Give this relationship a break, is what I'm getting. Don't immediately get into a reconciliation, okay? Try and find out why you guys are not on the same page. Because if you, if this person is still going to be keeping you in the same loop, right? It's going to be of no point. You guys are again going to land up in the same uh, toxic behavior. The same toxic pattern is going to, uh, you know, like completely um, repeat itself. And when it's clarified by the Three of Cups, I'm getting that, you know what, the reconciliation is coming. But don't be in a hurry, okay? Three of Cups is enjoying yourself, chill. I'm getting take a very easy approach towards this situation, but don't rush it, okay? What is the Three of Cups here? Clap for the Three of Cups. What is the Three of Cups? I think it's also asking you to take a chill pill, you know, just relax, you know, like have a good time with your friends, celebrate, you know, like go out and have fun, you know, just take it very easy, take a very light hearted approach. But with the three of cups in reverse as the advice, it's asking you to hold back from this reconciliation because probably something's still going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. You need to, you need some time to find out about um, what's going on. Why is the three of cups here? That's the three of cups. Four of Pentacles in reverse. See, stop holding on to a situation so tight. Okay, I'm getting that there's someone here who's desperately waiting for this reconciliation, desperately wanting to come together. Okay, but there's still a third party situation here before you reach that stage. Okay, so yeah, this is called detachment with the Four of Pentacles in reverse here. Release whatever you're holding on to so tight. 
okay stop being controlling stop trying to control the outcome stop trying to control the situation around you temperance and reverse right practice exercise self control know what you can control and know what you can't control and accept it accept what you can't control and let it go okay once you detach that's when you're going to get back to that's when what you want is going to want you if i'm making sense all right fly for the two of cups here Clap of the two of cups is the likely outcome for Gemini. The Empress in reverse here. So I feel that yes, there is a lot of love here. Okay, so I feel in the near future, I mean, as a likely outcome, you guys are going to be together with the two of cups here. Yes, you guys are going to be in a union. You guys, I mean, are going to get into a relationship. But with the Empress in reverse here, I feel that there's someone here who's still um, not going to be able to give you their hundred percent. Someone is still very, very codependent on another person. You could be dealing with a mother. Again, I told you I'm getting a lot of marital energy here. Why is the Empress in reverse here? This is someone who's still not feeling or nurturing the connection. See, Moon, there are so many things unknown. There's still too many things that you need to find out about this relationship. Or you need to find out about this person or the situation. Okay. Again, with the Empress in reverse, you're a very codependent energy that you're dealing with, okay? Someone who's lacking self-confidence, someone who doesn't love themselves, someone who puts them, you know, who doesn't put themselves first, okay? There is a lot of love here, granted. But with the moon here, right, again, I feel like there's a lot of doubt. You probably feel there are a lot of secrets in the likely outcome and things are still going to be hidden. There's still a lot of hidden energy. Again, this is a lot of fear about what you can't see. But with the Empress in reverse, I feel there's someone here who's still not going to be able to feed or nurture the connection like they did before. There is a lot of love here, for sure. But again, there's going to be some restriction still that is going to be there between you guys. And with the, with the moon here, everything's still very, very confusing. Okay, there's going to be, there's this unknown energy that I'm getting, okay, around this situation. Where it's like, I don't know where this is leading to. Is this even going to lead to marriage? Is this leading to commitment? You know, like what's going on? You guys are going to get back together. But again, with the Empress here and reverse here, I feel this is someone who's still doubting if they can make things happen with you. Or this is someone here who's not being able to fully commit to this relationship. They want to, but they can't because they're codependent on someone else. And with the moon here again, there's a lot of fear, a lot of stress, anxiety, confusion, and a lot of unknownness around this energy. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.